Hi folks, Brendan here from Advanced Radio and today we're going to take you through a quick video on how to set up and bind your new Smoothlight 16 or AR Extreme RRS with any Futaba radio system. For demonstration purposes we're using the 18 but it will work with any Futaba radio. If we pan over here we've got the Smoothlight powered on we've got the screen plugged in and we've got two receiver cables. Now just as a quick note the same will apply to our AR Extreme RRS but we're just using the smooth flight for today. So if we can pan across to the screen, I'll go into the main menu, go into the system page, receiver protocol, and you can see all the protocols we support here. The one you're looking for is for Taba SBUS 2, that'll give you downlink telemetry to your radio, or for a regular F SBUS, you need for Taba SBUS. Okay, we've set this up for Futaba SBUS 2, so now I'll get the camera manager to just pan over to the radio, we'll show you a quick bind process as well. We have the bind page here, We've got dual path enabled, and where it says RX1, I'm gonna hit that link button in just a second, but I just wanna point out as well, we've got the R1 cable, that's gonna be our primary receiver. So if you have telemetry enabled on your radio, you want the R1 foot bound to your primary receiver. Okay, let's go through the bind process. So we'll go link, and then we will plug in our primary receiver. Give it a second to find it. The light's gone green. We've now bound that as our primary receiver. Now, as our secondary receiver, we'll do the same thing. We'll go link on our RX2, we'll grab the second cable, we'll plug it into the SBUS2 port, and now it's bound the secondary receiver as well. Now, if we can pan across back to our screen, I'll go out of here, go into the monitor page, and now if I move the sticks, you can actually hear the servo moving in the background, and you can see the monitors all moving there. Okay. We also, with this system, as I said, this is a down, uh, this is a SBUS 2 system. So if I can get into the sensor page, which is here, and set up our sensor slots on 24 and 27. Okay, the sensor we're looking for is CURRF1678. And now if we come into our telemetry, you can actually see full telemetry there. This would be for one side of the batteries, that would be the other side of the battery, and that's gonna give you the capacity, the voltage of both the packs, and the current used on each pack. Setup is really that simple. So, that will work for the Smoothlight 16 or the Extreme RRS. That'll give you dual receiver redundancy down to your radio and telemetry to your Futaba radio. Stay tuned guys, we've got more videos coming.